The coast of Maine is just awesome. A lot of people live in this beautiful place and they never go on the water. They never do any of the things that the ocean offers for me, you know? And it is a beautiful view, but it's just a whole nother world. When I was growing up, there was pogies and bluefish everywhere. So we'd take like 15 or 20 Clorox jugs, we'd tie a piece of string to them with a hook, and we'd put a piece of bait on them. And we'd go out to these spots where the pogies were, and they'd be full of bluefish. We'd throw all them jugs overboard, right? Don't, 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 don't. 10 jugs gone. We start casting, bang, bang, one after another, tighten the drag up, 60 pound cast, reel them babies right in. We ain't fighting nothing. We'd fill it. I mean, we'd have bluefish up to my knees. Just load it, you know, 100 bluefish, no problem. Just take us an hour. But there's nothing better than fishing. I mean, when they tell you that a bad day fishing beats a good day working, that is right on the money. In Maine, you know, there's there's so many different changes of weather from you know with snow and frozen water to this you know fall foliage. Right now, I mean, just the way that this 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 fog is rolling in, this is something really splendid, and right? I really I love being able to have this kind of thing at my fingertips. Weekends ago, I was fishing down just off Land's End. Big bunch of mackerel. Cashed out. Next thing you know, whee! right, my rod just bent right over. Looks just like a horseshoe. I'm like, yeah, about 10 minutes, right? Takes right off. Second wind, like 30 yards. And then the other one goes off. Whee! So I'm like, I'm reeling this one, like sticking the run hole, like I grab the other one, and I'm reeling it like this, I'm reeling, I'm reeling, and then all of a sudden I look, and I'm like, Jesus, I'm awful close to the shore, right? So now I got two rods with fish on, and I'm headed to the shore in the white water. Touch the boat gear, I go up over these breakers, I still get the fish on. So I lost one, but I managed to get the other one in. And I got that thing in, it was 48 inches. He was a Jurassic. Monster. What a what a fish. I mean I woke up for a week thinking about that fish. You know, I'm eating dinner thinking about that fish. You know, the kids are telling me stuff, I'm thinking about that fish. <laughs> the minute I step on that boat and I put it in gear, land is the furthest, might as well be another galaxy away. I'm just in a whole nother world. <laughs>